Hi there, I'm Dr. Stephen Phelan. Thanks for tuning into this video. What I wanted to talk about today with this new video is the launch of a new occlusion DVD series that I have created. And I've had a lot of requests over the years from people who have attended my various seminars to uh, create a DVD series about occlusion. And if you know, you know, if you've looked at my website or you've been to my seminars, you know that I have a DVD series on porcelain veneers that I created a number of years ago. And I also have a DVD on creating excellent dental images and digital photography for dentistry. Um, but I've, I've resisted the idea of creating the occlusion DVD series before because I knew how much work it would be. And uh, creating any DVD or DVD series is a tremendous, tremendous amount of work uh, because essentially, because it's such a specialized type of DVD, I have to edit it myself or edit it with a video editor because otherwise they don't know what's good and what's, you know, what's extra, you know, information that's just repeat it, repeating itself. So, you know, we shoot hours of DVD or hours of video and then I have to edit it down to a manageable size so the DVDs aren't five hours long. As it is, the DVDs are pretty long because of the amount of video that I edited that I thought was excellent. Um, but basically I have four new videos coming out. I've created them mostly with the use of this uh, microscope here. So I have a video camera, high definition video camera attached to the microscope. It allows me to get excellent images and just beautiful uh, video footage. But we've also, uh, for this particular DVD, we've added two extra cameras. So I have really a three, ver three different views for some of the DVDs. And, you know, especially the equilibration DVD, it's, you know, about an hour of live patient treatment, as well as a keynote presentation about equilibration, which also includes another patient treatment. So it's, it's very comprehensive. There's a lot of footage in that DVD. And the newer footage, we shot with three different cameras from different angles, one of them on the microscope and two different video cameras mounted in the operatory. And um, I'm really happy about the footage. It looks just really tremendous. And I think it'll be really great for learning a simple technique for equilibration and uh, planning out an equilibration and and completing an equilibration for a patient. So that's one DVD. Uh, the other DVD is uh, Predictable Bite Records and it's from diagnosis to full mouth rehabilitation. Last year I did a bite record DVD that I gave away to attendees of my occlusion seminar and what I decided was, you know, that was a good DVD in itself but I wanted to make it even bigger and really literally twice as big because what I've done is that DVD basically covered leaf gauge. So now we have video about using a Coys deprogrammer to take the centric relation bite records. I have video for using a Lucia jig for creating the centric relation bite records. And then I have a whole other section about how to create bite records for a full mouth rehabilitation case or a, you know even a you could use that for a one arch rehabilitation. Um, we also included video for taking bite records for a big implant rehabilitation case. And I'm showing you, I'm gonna share with you a specific type of jig that we made to enable us to take a centric relation bite record, kind of like a Lucia jig, but without the need for um, uh, manipulating the patient with bimanual manipulation. So this totally allows the patient to seat their own jaw in centric relation using their own muscles. And it's really a simplified technique and it's just really precise, just bang, 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 every time, all the, always the same. So, you know, the Bite Record DVD is very comprehensive. It's gonna be at least two hours long, maybe even a little longer. I'm still edit, doing the final edits and it's hard to take things out because it's just so much good information. So we have a Bite Record DVD. I have another DVD on mounting and evaluating study models on the articulator. So that DVD will show you exactly how we trim the Bite Records, you know, I filmed that in the microscope so you could get really close up view of how I'm trimming the bite records. And then uh, actually mounting the case, you know, taking the face bow, 
adding the face bolt to the SAM3 articulator, then mounting the case. And the techniques that I'm showing you, you don't need to have a SAM3 articulator. You can use any articulator. It's the concept and the, the overall technique that you want to look at. And this DVD, I think, will be excellent for staff training. Because in my practice, you know, I don't have the time to mount all my cases. I actually have Amanda, my dental assistant, do it. And I trained her how to do this. And you'll be able to easily train your staff with this video. I think there's plenty of information and plenty of detail in the clinical video, the actual procedural video, to uh, help you train your staff without a lot of trouble. And then the third DVD in the series is equilibration. And it goes through, we're going to walk you through trial equilibration, how to do that on, a, on the set of mounted study models. And it, you know, if you notice, the whole series kind of flows because you need mounted, you need correct bite records to get to the stage where you're equilibrating the patient. And you need a correct mounting to get to the stage where you're able to equilibrate the patient. So if you can do the correct bite records, the correct mounting, you can then do an accurate trial equilibration on the mounted models and then follow that up with actually equilibrating the patient in the mouth. And it's, 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 fairly, it's a fairly simplified technique that I'm showing you how to equilibrate a patient in the mouth. And you'll feel better about this technique than just kind of going in and randomly grinding on people's teeth, which I, unfortunately, when I was in dental school, we didn't really understand what they were trying to get us to do with equilibration. And they made it, I thought, more complicated than it needs to be compared to the technique that I'm going to show you. And then the fourth DVD is uh, basically going to cover an area that I get a lot of questions on and that people really have a hard time getting their head around when they're doing complex cases and large cases. And that's changing the vertical dimension and what you need to know. Because that seems to be an area that really hangs a lot of people up when they're considering doing large cases. And so this is mostly a, a keynote presentation that's going to be really showing you a lot of different cases that I've changed the vertical. And basically the techniques that I've used to determine whether or not I'm going to change the vertical and how I'm changing the vertical. We're also going to talk on that DVD about customizing the anterior guidance for the patient, especially again for a large rehabilitation type of case, and creating an anterior guide table. And where, where would you use an anterior guide table? Why would you do that? Um, why is that an important part of planning out and uh, completing treatment for large cases? So the new DVD series, um, there's information posted on this website. Um, you might be watching this video on YouTube. If you're watching it on YouTube, you can go to failindentalseminars.com and we will have the information about the DVD series and about um, ordering the series. And you can actually order right on the website. So I hope you really uh, uh, enjoy the new DVD series. I think, it's, I think it's really good. I'm really excited. I've been editing it most of this week and spending a lot of time, you know, uh, changing, <laughs> changing camera angles, deciding which camera angle is the best camera angle for uh, illustrating the material. And it's been a lot of fun. I, I enjoy video editing personally. I'm using Final Cut Pro by Apple and um, I'm a very small, I have a very small amount of Final Cut Pro knowledge, but it's enough to be able to edit the video. So thank you for joining in and we will talk to you soon.